Hey everybody, Claire here, and today I'm gonna to share one of my favorite new cookbook purchases. It's actually an old cookbook, um, but for me, actually one of the newer cookbooks I have in my vintage cookbook collection. Um, as you guys know, I tend to collect cookbooks from the 30s, 40s, and perhaps early 50s, um, but this one is actually from 1969, and oh boy, is it. It is the most swinging, late 60s kind of LSD key party vibe book I have ever seen. It is called The Picnic Book by uh, Nika Hazelton and it's pretty fabulous. And the thing that really made me buy this book is, I mean, the artwork. So this is the cover, it's gorgeous. Every chapter illustration is amazing. Like there's this one, which is absolutely gorgeous. This one's so cool, like, Dope, right? Just so freaking cool. So, I mean, if the artwork hasn't convinced you to go run and buy a copy, perhaps um, the chapter titles will, because the chapter titles are the most like, oh my God, like just who is this lady and can I have her life? Um, menu for a picnic for the loves of yesteryear. A boat launching picnic in St. James. There is another chapter on a picnic adieu in a graveyard. The thing that I love about this book is other than just sort of the ridiculous lifestyle that kind of is attached to it um, and the beautiful illustrations, the recipes are actually very good. Um, I went through and I did a bunch of them. You'll see a lot of them on the blog this summer actually. Um, but they, she has this beautiful recipe for mustard roasted chicken. And truly it's just chicken, olive oil, mustard and salt, and that's it and you just cover it in beautiful French Dijon mustard, and it gives the chicken a really lovely flavor, a little bit of like a piquant kind of thing, and it's great. Like, I feel like all the recipes in here are actually very, very good. Some of them are a little dated, like, you know, aspic, like, you know, or mousse and stuff like that. Like, there's certain things that I know that no one's gonna wanna touch with a 10-foot pole, but there are a lot of really great recipes in here, and they're all very simple. Sometimes vintage recipes can get a little bit fussy, especially from this time period. Like you'll see them adding things like food coloring in a recipe, which is horrifying and just things like that. Like almost, um, they cut corners in ways that are silly. Um, Nika Hazelton was a prolific food writer and despite the kind of extraordinarily hip kind of book design, I assumed she was younger um, when she wrote this, but she actually was pretty mature. She was in her like mid forties. So she had a lot of experience under her belt writing cookbooks and a lot of you know experience recipe testing. So her recipes totally hold up. But anyway, I mean, how fabulous is this freaking book? Like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, if you wanna see recipes uh, from it that I um, sort of modernized slightly, you can definitely check those out on the Kitchen Kitchen. Before we leave, let me read the end pages so you can hear a little bit more about the book. Published in 1969, The Picnic Book by Nika Hazelton. Everyone loves a picnic. But who isn't tired of the same old hard-boiled eggs and tuna fish sandwiches? For your next El Fresco feast, spread a tablecloth of delights chosen from Nika Hazelton's picnic book. 19 chapters, each one the fascinating story of a picnic, remembered with affection and reproduced in full to the last detail of taste, fragrance, color, circumstance, and atmosphere. Others are planned, drawn from her fertile imagination, full of social and gustatory, Fancy. All are complete with menus and recipes, and there is a bonus of general advice to make every picnic easier, more frolicsome, and festive. This, whoever wrote the end pages, God bless them, because there are some real fun Scrabble words in here. Um, so picnic day or night, summer or winter, on the shores of Maine, under the willows in Torcello, in cathedrals and ruins, on the frontier or a boat, with children in the park, a crowd on the beach, a lover in the graveyard, in a box, with a fox, just kidding, that's not in there. Um, and let Nika Hazelton's lifetime of picnicking the world be your guide. Lavishly and delightfully illustrated with 19 pages in full color by Maggie McGowan. Just, oh man, the opulence of those prose is just wonderful. Ugh. Um, no, this is just like the ultimate fancy hostess book. Just like the fanciest. I really hope that someone, like next time they go to like a music festival or something, they dress like a 1960s hostess in like psychedelic Emilio Pucci, like hostess gown, make something out of this cookbook and invite me. 
Um, so that'd be great. That, that'd be the only way you'd get me to a music festival, to be completely honest. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about this book. Um, as with all the vintage cookbooks I highlight, you can usually find them on abebooks.com. You can also check out Bonnie Slotnick in New York, uh, Janet Jarvis in LA, and also try your luck on eBay and Etsy. You know, who knows? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed learning it about a little bit about the picnic book. It's so much fun. It's a good one. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and make sure to check out the recipes on the blog, The Kitchy Kitchen. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.